Hi, my name is Heather. I'm an advanced practice nurse here at Austin Urology Institute, Austin, Texas. I want to talk to you today a little bit about urinary tract infections or UTIs. UTIs are something that are very common that we see here in a urology practice. We see them in both male and female, all ages of the spectrum really. UTIs are more prevalent in the female population than males, but we do see them both. When someone comes to us with a complaint of a UTI, we generally hear them complain of things like burning with urination, urinary urgency, urinary frequency, bladder spasms or bladder pain. And sometimes they even have things like flank pain in their back. They'll have a fever occasionally. Um, we see them come to us with complaints of blood in their urine. So they, the symptoms can really range all over the place. There are lots of symptoms that are associated with urinary tract infections and people often just come with the complaints of one or two of them. When we first treat someone for a UTI, we obviously want to make them feel better. So we're usually treating them with medication to get their symptoms to go away. We'll generally run some tests on their urine that they leave here and get them started on some medication that will quickly help their symptoms improve. We also wanna rule out that it's nothing anatomical. Sometimes urinary tract infections can be more prevalent because of things with our anatomy. Women are more predisposed to developing urinary tract infections. A lot of that is just based on their anatomy, their female anatomy. We do see them in men sometimes, but we need to figure out why, because it's not common that we see urinary tract infections in men. So we work them up a little bit differently. We tend to see urinary tract infections in women in their 20s and 30s after they become sexually active, and then again, post-menopause because of the changes in their hormones that can make them more susceptible to developing a UTI. There are lots of things that we can do to help prevent UTIs. If it's a postmenopausal woman, we can address the changes in the hormone that affects the mucosal membranes and talk to them and educate them about that and how they can help better prevent UTIs. Some things that both men and women can do that will help prevent UTIs is, is increasing their fluid intake, so drinking lots of water. We recommend that everyone drinks eight glasses of water per day, and that just helps flush out the urinary tract system. Some other things that lots of people can do that will help them avoid UTIs are taking showers instead of baths, um, avoiding products that can be irritating to the vaginal area or near the urethra. So things like diaphragms, tampons, um, scented feminine sprays or different types of lubrication. So reducing those can also reduce the risk of UTIs. Uh, some other things that we often see that help often are things like just not holding your urine um, urinating shortly after intercourse and wiping front to back. And some other things that we do see in practice are taking a cranberry supplement on a regular basis can help reduce the rate of UTI. Vitamin C can also help reduce UTI occurrence by neutralizing bacteria in the area. There's also options like suppression therapy for those that experience UTIs on a more than normal basis. Some associate UTIs with sexual intercourse, so a low dose antibiotic following intercourse can sometimes help prevent the infection from coming on. So if you find yourself experiencing UTIs, male or female, come see us here at Austin Urology Institute and we will help you get to the bottom of it and feeling better quickly.